Okay, this one's on checking pump pressure. Now I'm going to show you how I'm set up here. Okay, note I've taken the gun line off of the gun, rotated it around, and put a pressure gauge on it. Now this one here is set up, should be 100 pounds. So let's see if it actually is 100 pounds. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and turn on the furnace. Okay, if you look at that, we're at about 95 pounds. Well, let's go ahead and get it set to 100, and I'll show you how we adjust. Okay, there's a little acorn nut right down here, and they're in various places and various uh, pumps. But, and some of them don't always have a, uh, an acorn nut over, some of them are just open. Uh, but there will be something that you can adjust, it's generally a slot head. Okay, here I've got a slot head screwdriver in there, it is clockwise to increase pressure, counterclockwise to decrease. And I'm going to get a close-up on that gauge again and fire this thing up and let's see what change we can make. Okay, we're sitting there at that about 95. If I crank it up a little bit, I'm up to 100. Okay, simple as pie. Now, it's going to safety out in a minute and I want you to watch the gauge. Okay, you'll notice the gauge drop. Now it dropped about 10 pounds. It's normal for it to drop. Most of them drop about 20 pounds. I'm not sure why this one's being kind of obnoxious, but uh, they should drop off and hold. If they don't hold, if this needle continues to move down and you don't have any leaks in your lines that you put on here, if this gauge continues to go down, after it drops at 10 to 20 percent in this case it's actually dropping 10 percent if it continues to drop down the regulator is leaking by and it's just a question of time until that thing fails and you don't get anything at all out of this furnace so that's an indication when you're working on these things that if that thing does not drop and stay and just hold that pressure then you have a regulator problem okay uh, that's pump pressure I'll be doing some more on pumps uh, about uh, how the pump pressure affects the the fire we'll set it at different uh, pressures and see what we come up with